Hey guys, today I'm taking an early look at the Kerbal Space Program DLC, um, Making History Expansion Pack. I'm sure you've heard about this, it's coming out next week, but I have got some early access to take a look at the Mission Builder. So now in KSP 1.4, which I believe actually is already out, um, you can press Start Game, and then if you have the DLC, you can now have Play Missions and Mission Builder as options. Um, the current actual missions that they've built I think are still in uh, still in development so I'm, I'm not allowed to look at them but I'm gonna take a look at the mission builder because now you can build full-on missions so you click on that and you start here you got yourself your start node so you can see the start node has a spawn vessel below it because that's the first thing you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to spawn a vessel and the uh, and, and the user will make themselves a vessel so we can uh, set some restrictions on this so maybe I just want it to be a maximum mass of 20 tons, I think that's tons, uh, is that, and then also maybe I want to limit the parts, you're only allowed to use, I don't know, say let's just say 20 parts again, 20 parts, 20 tons, um, it'll be called um, Splasher, because I have a plan for this, um, that's not how you spell Splasher, uh, <laughs> there we go, and uh, then the description, I think that's just a description for the editor, um, there's nothing much in there. Um, but yes, so that is that, and then we're going to want to move on after the vessel has been built to the uh, parameters. Uh, we're going to want to tell the we're going to want to tell the 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 player something to do. So uh, we'll link the start node to the next node, which is a dialogue message, which you can select from this menu here. You've got uh, various things. You've got things your Kerbal can do. Um, you got various orbital parameters, so get to this orbit and then do something. Yeah, get some science and then do something. You get the idea. Um, it'll become clearer as I do it, I guess. Anyway, so this is um, my message. And the heading will be... Uh, fly upward. Uh, up, upward. And then land in the ocean near the KSC. So that is... That's the... That's... Oh, I guess... That's that should be the description. Um, I'll just call this up, up and away and then down. <laughs> so that'll be that'll be the mission. So you'll be told you've got to fly upward and then land in the ocean near the KSC. So let's say fly upward above two kilometers and then land in the ocean near the KSC. So then what we're going to want to do is after the player has done this and launched, we're going to want to check that they get to the right altitude. So we go to Location, which is you're checking the location of the vehicle or whatever, and we're going to get reach altitude, and then we'll link that to this, and the altitude is of course 2,000 meters and greater than. Um, so once that happens, that'll trigger the next event. Let's just put in another dialogue message, um, congratulating our player. Um, so good job, you have reached the altitude. Uh, altitude. <laughs> And so now go and land in the water. I apologize for the loudness of my keyboard. And then after that, we're going to need to check if they actually land in the water. So it'll be another location thing. Uh, this is a very boring mission. We'll take a look at a slightly better one after this that I've already built. Uh, but right now, we'll just take a look at this. So we're going to ch check location again. Um, maybe not. Oh, splashed vessel, yes. So then on to splashed vessel. Um, but I, we also said close to the KSE, so we will use a test distance as well. So if this goes well, um, we can test the distance of the vessel to launch site. There we go. A distance from launch site. And the launch site will be the launch pad. There we go. And the distance, the maximum will be, let's say, land within 20 kilometers. So, um, and then, uh, yes, and then if they do that, they have succeeded um, so if we get ourselves another message box, it'll be a dialogue message. We'll link that up, and this will be the end node. This means the end of the mission, of course. And this message will be, well done! You have achieved much, kind of. Anyway, um, and you can actually pick the instructor as well, so Werner von Um But obviously there may be a fail state, so uh, yes. The fail state. I had to kind of look up how to do that. Uh, so uh, what might happen is it might not splash. It might land on the ground. We don't want that. We said splash. Do you, uh, you, you, <laughs> you bad listener? Um, so how do I do splashed? Uh, landed vessel. Not yeah. Not splashed. Landed. So if it lands, 
um, then we're gonna want a different message, which is a failure message. You were supposed to. You were supposed to. You were supposed to do the thing. What are you do? What are you doing? Um, so then, where's the th uh, just dialogue message? Um, you have failed me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> For the last time. Oh shit. Admiral. Is it an admiral who? Ad Admira. <laughs> I'm good at spelling. Um, fail. Um, yeah. So yes, uh, if it lands, obviously it's a fail. And if it lands too far away, it's also a failure. And then you will have also failed me for the last time. Is it an admiral who uh, Darth Vader murders after he fails him for the last time? I don't know. I should watch that again. But <laughs> uh, Landed vessel. No, not landed vessel. That's not what we want. We want distance. Um, so if it's... Uh, from the vessel, oh, yeah, any vessel, whatever, uh, from the vessel to the launch site, and the distance is greater than 20 kilometers. Um, oh, and this should also be an end node, because it is an end node, and it is a failure? Yeah, fail, nice. Um, you suck. I'm very mean with my missions, but I, I have in scrupulous, you have to be, you have to do well, you know. Um, anyway, we're going to need another message. Can I just copy and paste this? I can. Um, so that'll be just the same message. So that we have ourselves our first mission. It took me a little while, but uh, yeah, you can see it's a basic mission. We're going to launch above two kilometers, land in the water, 20 kilometers or less away from the KFC. If we fail that, we will be yelled at mercilessly. So let's go and launch right now. Okay, so here we are in the VAB with Splasher. We need to build the vehicle, and of course we set ourselves some limits. It must be below 20 parts and below 20 tons. So we're gonna take a we're gonna take a Kerbal. You know, just one Kerbal. There's a few options now. You've actually got yourself a fancy Gemini-looking thing, uh, because making history. Uh, so yes, we're gonna need a parachute if we're going to land in the L ocean. Uh, we'll drain all that uh, monopropellant since we don't need it. Um, we're going to throw a decoupler on there, which of course looks nice and new in KSP 1.4, rather good. And then we're going to go get some, uh, go get some, some fuel tanks. Of course we could use a 5 meter fuel tank, but that would be rather ridiculous and too heavy. So, we're just going to stick to the oldie schooly um, small fuel tanks, which are right here. There we go. Uh, we're just going to need a single stage to get above 2 kilometers, of course, so we'll fetch ourselves uh, just the normal gambling engine. You can see there's lots of new engines. There's a, oh, that's cool. Kerbidine. Nice. Anyway, so it'll need some uh, control fins to stop it from flipping out. And I think we're good. I think I gave myself, I was too lax. We only needed nine parts and seven tons. Um, I will override Splasher and I will launch. I, um, mission requirements not met. At least 20 tons. Oh, I got it the wrong way around. So it has to be at least 20 tons and at least 20 parts. I should check my nodes. Um, okay, cool. Let's just put... You know what? Yeah, let's go way bigger. Let's let's go... Um, let's go three-man pod, which looks nice and new. Let's go new parachute. Uh, I guess bigger parachute. That'll, that ought to do. Uh, randomly throw a heat shield on there. Not gonna need it, but it would be... Uh, well, we've got a... Just fill up the. We gotta. We gotta just fill up the mass, man. We gotta get those part counts up. They're being real weird about their requirements today. I don't know. Um, oh, that's a medium. There we go. That's the right decoupler. And then I guess if we're going for mass, we might as well try out some new parts. So let's go for a five meter rocket. Uh, so we'll use that to scale up to three meters, and then five meters, and then then we'll have ourselves. A nice big... Oh, we need to use loads of parts as well. <laughs> this is so stupid. Um, actually, a launch escape system might be a good way of getting out of this. Yeah, it's in utility. There we go. Um, we're going to need a decoupler for that, though, of course. So we'll go and fetch ourselves a small decoupler. Uh, we're going to get ourselves the launch escape system, because apparently that's the best way to land, because I screwed up the requirements. Um, and then we're just going to need a couple parachutes. So there we go. Those are on jankly as hell. That's nice. And now we're going to need some engines, um, and probably an engine mount. So let's use the big, cool, new engine mount. Nice. And then throw some F1 engines, or KE1 engines. Uh, these look a little weird like that, but we can just change the shroud and they don't look weird. That's pretty nice. That's the new thing. There's a lot of new stuff I didn't know was coming out. Apparently I haven't been reading the blog. 
Anyway, so yes, those are five engines. That should be enough, but we need a few more parts. So, I guess what we could do is put a few fins on there. Are there any new fins? I don't think so. But I am very bad at noticing things, so who knows. So we'll put them on here, kind of Saturn V style. Um, yeah, that looks jank as hell. <laughs> Oh, anyway, and then we'll need some launch drugs. So yeah, there we go. We've met the requirements. 400 tons and 24 parts. Um, fire up all the engines. Uh, then, and then do the abort. And then that should be, that should be good. We should totally meet the requirements. So let's go and launch. Um, all right. So here we are on the launch pad with our ridiculous rocket. And we have ourselves our message. Up, up, and away, and then end. Oh, that, that's not right. I think I said, and then down. <laughs> Okay, apparently I can't type today, but whatever. Anyway, fly upward above two kilometers and then land in the ocean near the KSC. <laughs> up, up, and then end. What are you talking about, Peter? So we got our three kerbals, and now we should just launch. We're going to have quite a bit of thrust. Look at that. Beautiful. Also, new engine plumes. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that was for all the engines. Nice. Anyway, so yes, we go above two kilometers and probably a bit to the side. Um, that would be smart. And then just abort, land in the ocean, hopefully just totally win. But I, I, I don't know. Maybe not. I, who knows? <laughs> uh, I mean, I messed up typing, so who knows how, I'll be, how good I'll be at flying rockets. Anyway, now we are above two kilometers. You've reached the altitude. Now go and land in the water. We'll do, Vanna von Kerman. We hit abort, which, no, we stage. I didn't actually make it an abort thing. And then, hopefully, we'll go and land in the ocean. Looks like we're heading for it, but will we be within distance of the KSC? Oh, look, you can actually... Oh, I think that's just the debris. Okay, and then we're going to pull the chutes. And drop the... No, don't drop the heat shield. That often goes terribly for me. Hits the pod and kills me. Um, so a bunch of stuff flashes into the ocean. We don't need that. And we're going to land right next to the KSC. There's land in... Are we going to land slow enough, do you reckon? Probably. There's no fail state for dying, so that's good. There we go. You have failed for the last time, Admiral. What did I do wrong? <laughs> What did I do wrong? What did I... I went into... That's the... That's the launch pad! <laughs> I think I messed up. What happened? Also, that didn't end the mission. <laughs> I might not be good at building missions. Yeah, okay, so this... Uh, so... Yeah. Greater than should have failed. Well... I don't know what happened there. Apparently I screwed something up. Anyway, let's do a mission that I built earlier and no works and actually has an end state. It's fairly simple again. I haven't, I haven't had too much time to make some cool stuff, but we've got go to orbit. This is just a linear mission where you go to orbit. There are no fail states and everything will be well. You can see I've tried it a little bit. Um, so yes, let's go and do that. There are some actual constraints on this. They actually work, which is good. All right, so yes, here we are in the VAB with, us, with, our, with our mission, go to orbit. And we have some uh, some things telling us here. I haven't done a good dialogue box that tells you what you're doing at first, so you're just going to have to guess. I'm sure your missions will be much more detailed and better. Uh, but yes, the, ves the vessel can't exceed 10 tons and can't exceed 20 parts. Got those the right way around this time. And there's no actual demand for crew, but I reckon I can send some crew to orbit in 10 tons. So we've got ourselves a pod. It has to be called Rocket One, because I'm very uninventive. But Richard Branson calls his thing Spaceship One, so I'm about as good as Richard Branson, so... Yeah. Anyway, so yes, we're going to do the, de the standard thing, just a 1.25 meter rocket, because we've got some pretty pretty serious constraints on this. Um, we're going to need a second stage, which I guess will just be the standard second stage. I'm just going to build the standard rocket, I think. Um, and then coupling. This one? Nope. I will. There's a lot of new decouplers. A lot, a lot of new sizes. How big is this? Jesus. There's a lot of in-betweens as well. Interesting. Anyway, um, so yeah, and then I'm going to connect this up, and then throw... The, another, where's the smaller fuel tank? It's right there. Put that on there, and then throw my engine on there, which will just be the standard engine. And that's too heavy. All right, so can I halve this? Uh, what if I put one of these on? How How is that? Still a little too heavy. Okay, let's drain some fuel. How about that? Still too much? We good? How about now? We, how are we still not good? That's like no fuel. Um, oh, I'm going to orbit, so I don't need a parachute. What am I doing? <laughs> There's no requir requirement in my mission that we have a parachute, so that's good. And drain the monopropellant. There we go. Nice work, Peter. You really, really think ahead. Um, oh, no. Okay, so that's the maximum fuel we can have. We we'll also need some fins, because why not? 
And there we go, we're ready to go. Um, so let's launch. Yes, yeah, start mission. So here we are on the launch pad. Up, up and away. Time to launch, just do it. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, just do it. Um, there's some Shia LaBeouf for you, Shia LaVon Kerman. Um, and uh, let's head upward. So we're gonna, it's gonna tell us some stuff as we head on up. Tell us we're doing a good job. No failure states, you know, I'm a, I'm a positive person. I assume everyone can do things. Yeah, see, they've got a new new plume for this as well. It looks nice, it's just kind of it's clean. Anyway, Jeb looking rather happy to be completing a mission, and uh, I am too. I, I do really like this feature, it's cool. I mean, it is a DLC, so it, it doesn't come with 1.4, but, um, but I think it comes out next week. I don't know anything else about it, just that you can build missions, you can play pre-made missions, and you can build some complex missions. I've just done some simple ones today, because I haven't had a ton of time this week. Ooh! Five kilometers, well done. Now let's get this baby out of the atmosphere. Disclaimer, do not put babies in vacuums. That is some good advice. I learned that the hard way. Hmm, did I just admit to murdering a baby on the... <laughs> oh, the last time they give me free DLC. Ooh, damn, damn, damn. Okay, clicked out of the window. All right, but it looks like we're doing well. Where's the... Uh... Okay, we're good on periapsis, apoapsis. And that's good, and then fire up the next engine. The uh, first stage just drops away there, and uh, we need to get this out of the atmosphere. Now, the orbit's actually got to be about 72, you can see it here. Um, orbit needs to be like 72 by something, but we don't have to be very accurate, so I'm just going to get into sort of that kind of orbit and hope. Alright, and 75 kilometers? That'll do. That's basically what the mission says. And alright, so now we're just going to cruise on out of the atmosphere. Like we've been told to. But yeah, like I was saying, it looks like a really fun deal. So you can you can set up full missions, you, you know, go to Duna, plan a flag, and go to I can plan a flag, and then do a backflip. I don't think there's actually a backflip thing. But you could probably do it with some velocity stuff. You know, first person to do a backflip mission, I'll, I'll buy a free game. Um, okay, now you're in space, now accelerate and make orbit. Um, I may buy a free game, I don't know. If someone does it, maybe I'll be impressed and some... I guess you can't, can't buy you the DLC because you'll already have it, but... <laughs> Well, whatever, anyway. It'd be cool if you made a backflip mission. I would be very impressed. Um, that That's all you need. Not free stuff, just my, just how impressed I am. Anyway, but yes, we've been told to go to orbit. I'm sure there was something funny. Actually, I don't think, I think I'd run out of jokes by that time, so there was nothing funny on that. Although we can actually go and back and check that message. Orbit time. Okay, now you're in orbit, now accelerate. Now you're in space, you now accelerate and make orbit. Very fun. Okay, and then we'll just delete all of these. All right. Looks like there's also some markers for bases. We've got Womenberg. Womenberg? That's not the secret KSC either. Huh, I actually haven't checked that out. Maybe that's... Is that part of 1.4 or making history? No idea. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm well informed on the things I cover. Alright, we're getting to orbit though. Um, one thing I can do is go to orbit in a simple rocket. That's, that's, that's a skill of mine. <laughs> okay. And almost there. Oh, God, I keep clicking out of the window. Um, I should have just had it full screen. And almost, that, that's, that's basically orbit. That's, that's basically what I said to do. Give me the mission. Okay, I've got to make it actually fit. The, you can see we've got this yellow guide here, um, which it just does automatically when you tell yourself, to, when you tell the mission to reach a certain orbit, which is nice. It's as if you were doing a contract. Um, I assume you can just, like, share missions around. It's probably in, like, a file. And then boost the... Is that good enough? Do you love me now? No? Yeah! I did it! Woo! Mission success! Um, good job you're in orbit. Now something getting home. I didn't read it. Oh, we can actually see it again, though. Can I? No? Oh, well. Um, so, yeah. We've, uh, we've, we've completed the mission. We've done all the stuff. We got no score, because I didn't do any of that. But, uh... Yeah, you can actually go and put some score and stuff. So if I go back to the mission builder, you can see it all the other things. I'll, I'll show you a few of the other things you can do. So, okay, back after totally not a crash, but it's it's early access, so it's fine. All right, um, so let's load up. Uh, yeah, let's just load up the mission and take a look at other things we can put in because you've got a scoring system. I didn't do any scoring because I'm lazy, um, and you can also provide people with money. I guess that's a I guess that's a thing. Um, but yeah, so so maybe when I reach altitude, I'm also like. Uh, Oh, actually, I reckon it's probably just hooking into something. So hook into something? No, I think what we would do is this, and then this, and then change the order like 
this. So we'd change score and it would go around and we could be like, oh, you get a million points, Peter, because you're the best. Um, add. I think add. Oh, I removed it. No. Modify mission score. Yeah, a million. Just, just all of the points. There we go. All of the points. Good job, Peter. You've reached the altitude of two kilometers. You're the best. Um, you can do stuff with Kerbals. Check you have the right crew count. So maybe you want to send a thousand Kerbals to Elu if you're Matt Lown. Um, <laughs> and uh, 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 so you could do that. You could Kerbal boarded, Kerbal EVA, all this kind of stuff. Location can be, you know, um, orbit doesn't just have to be of Kerbin. It can be of, you know, uh, Minmus or the Sun or Eve, and you can see you get this little dialogue. So when you flick the orbit around, you, it tells you how to, you tells you what's going on. So you can just take a look at it. It's pretty nice. Um, and then yeah, resources and science. So I guess when you have a right amount of science, you could be like, go out and find me ten thousand science, or go out and get me a bunch of ore or something. That's pretty cool. Didn't see that actually. Spawn an asteroid. So I guess I could make you could make your own asteroid. I bet you can customize the shit out of it. Yeah, you can you can change its class. Ooh, look at this. That's cool. Can I have the really tiny one from the tutorial? I've never been able to find a stone before. <laughs> you can put it in orbit, be like, go get that. Um, so that could be your, your, instead of spawn vessel, it could be spawn asteroid, or, or both. So we'd spawn an asteroid, and then we spawn a vessel, and then yeah. Um, and then you've got your messages, your mission elapsed time, your test accuracy, all of that kind of stuff. And then check if parts... Oh, you can make a part fail. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's... I didn't notice that. That's cool. Just triggers a random part failure, or like, do you... Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I didn't notice that. You can just make parts fail. You can mess with people. Um, you drain resources randomly. You could have a fuel leak. You could do, you know, all this stuff. You could explode a part. That'd be cool if I make a mission for Penguin. Um, that kind of stuff. But yeah, anyway, I think this is really fun. I have to say, you know, I, I didn't really know much about this until I started looking at it. And at first I was like, how do you build a mission? What does all this mean? But you can do some really cool detailed stuff. Like if you put an hour into this, you can make a hella mission. It'd be awesome. So yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you're looking forward to this DLC. Um, if you're not, whatever. But no, I think it's cool. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, this has been KSB with Tape. I will see you next time.